In this tutorial, we're going to be having a look at how we work with text transitions. We're going to be creating some of these blur dissolves applied to text on connected layers in Final Cut Pro 10. And as you can see here, you can get some really nice effects as you move from one clip to the next. So we're working with the video transition in the background layer and then also a text transition in the top layer to create these different Gaussian, radial and zoom and pan dissolves with text on a connected layer. So let's dive straight in here. And we're gonna start first of all by just adding our type to our timeline in Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm gonna to go to my type tool and I'm gonna keep the all options selected here and type in basic down at the bottom. So we're grabbing the, the basic title, which is installed in Final Cut Pro by default. It's not an extra plugin. And we'll grab that and drag it to our timeline here. And I'm just gonna set it so it fits the duration of one of my clips. So in the title here, I'm just gonna to go to my text options first of all and we'll swap the text out. This is kind of what we're doing to the type. So we're gonna use the same word and we'll increase the size, which is gonna help us to see what we're doing here. We'll make it a nice bold type. And we're also gonna change the, the face of the type to black. So I'm just gonna grab a black here and you can do it as I just did by clicking on the, the box here and I've got a preset of black selected or you can hop down here and grab black from the color picker down at the bottom here. Both do the same thing. So now we're gonna go ahead and just have a look at the background layer. So I wanna change the background layer so that it matches a bit more of the, the feeling that I want for this video. So I'm gonna add a color tint to this. So I'm gonna to go to my effects here and I'm gonna go down to my color options and add a tint. And I'm gonna change my tint to a nice yellow. So you can see it's gonna let the black stand out nicely there. And you can copy the RGB values if you want, or just, as we said before, pick out a color that you like. And you can see we can scroll through some nice different colors there. I'm gonna stick with this yellow. So now what I wanna do is add a transition for the type layer on the top. So it's gonna transition from here to here. Now I'm gonna highlight one of the problems that there is with the transitions in Final Cut Pro 10 first, and then we'll look at how we fix that to create this effect. So I'm gonna jump into my transitions and we're in the blurs here, okay? And I'm gonna put my Gaussian blur onto my title and I'm gonna delete it at the opening part of this clip and just watch it at the end here. So if we press play, we can see it's kind of doing a funny thing where it's blurring the background layer as well as the top layer. So we're getting this kind of doubling up of the blurring, which is not what we want. We want to just blur the type layer. So in order to do this, I'm going to click delete and delete that. Um, I'm just going to take a couple steps back actually. So we get back to the, the type layer on its own. So the first thing I want to do is create a copy of this te text layer. So I'm just going to drag this across to the right hand side. Okay. And I'm going to highlight this and go to my video options scroll down and drop the opacity there. Okay, so basically we're gonna be transitioning from text with full opacity to text with no opacity. So now if I grab the Gaussian blur and drop that onto these layers, and I'll just delete this last one here, you can see we're just blurring the type there. I just let it render. So we'll play this back. And at the moment, the only problem is that we get this very kind of jumpy transition between the layers in the background. So I'm gonna play this back again. And then I'm gonna to come to my transitions. I'm gonna to go to lights and I'm gonna add this bloom effect in the background. And so now once we've let that render, we can play that through. Okay. and the blur effect is kind of washed out by the bloom effect. So I'm actually gonna just jump to my selection tool and just move this back a little bit. So we get the transition and then the bloom effect one after the other. And we can have them overlapping just a tiny bit for the back end of that effect. So we get the explosion and then the bloom effect. So let's play that through. So you get this nice move from the explosion transition to the color effect and mixed in with some sound as well in the background. That'll produce a really nice effect. So we can go back to our blurs 
and have a play around with the other blurs. So we could try the zoom blur effect and each of these is gonna give us a different effect as we move in that transition. And we can just work on the retiming of the transition so they, they flow a little nicer together. So I just moved the transition on the video in the background back a little so we get a little bit more of a continuous movement. So I hope that's been useful for working with and exploring how you can work with titles. One of the important things is this transparency of the compositing of the, the second title here so that you get this transition working over the top of the video rather than it mixing with the video as well. If you have any questions about transitions or titles in Final Cut Pro 10, then please don't hesitate to send me a tweet at Ben Housel. I'm really enjoying all the great feedback I'm getting for some of my video tutorials and I look forward to you guys um, asking me more questions and I will see you on the next tutorial.